Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, um, we're gonna learn how uh, we can do a pretty simple um, Earth Engine based uh, web application, a lot long locator uh, using the Earth Engine Cloud API. So this is those of you who are new to Earth Engine, Earth Engine is a cloud uh, computing environment, um, freely available for research and um, educational purpose. So we're gonna use uh, the Earth Engine Code Editor uh, to create some, um, you know, um, pretty basic app and Earth Engine apps are, you can, you know, develop Earth Engine apps using uh, a large, you know, volume of Earth observation and geospatial data hosted on the Earth Engine platform. And using a JavaScript API, you can generate pretty cool apps. Um, some of these um, examples, as you can see here, uh, are, um, um, apps that have been uh, developed uh, using the Earth Engine Cloud API. So today we're gonna use a pretty basic one. So let's just, um, um, so if you're new to Earth Engine, you go to Google Earth Engine and you have, um, you know, platform, uh, you click code editor, it will take you to um, the uh, code editor, JavaScript um, uh, playground API. Um, so, this is where you can write your code and this is um, a console that you can monitor your, your um, progress or task. And this is a map canvas uh, where you uh, visualize your, uh, the data you, um, um, you know, load or analysis result or model result, whatnot. So let's get started. Let's just, what we're doing at the end is um, we're, we're gonna create a web app um, geospatial um, web app that um, generates a lot long latitude and longitude for any given place on the planet just uh, you click that you just um, click on location it will provide you the lot long information okay um, so this is just to get started the basic one but um, you know to show you the power of earth engine uh, to um, uh, produce uh, powerful geospatial uh, web application or web apps let's get started so our, um, let's just get started here. Uh, so the first thing is let's just write actually the name of the um, our app uh, lat long locator. So we're gonna um, develop um, a lat long locator app. And so in Earth Engine, um, you have different widgets, right? So um, you have. Um, Let's just go to Earth Engine actually. If you go here, the documents in Earth Engine, you have UI's user interface. So you have uh, pretty much a lot of um, uh, UI features or buttons. You have, you know, button, uh, you know, chart, um, label, you know, slider, whatnot. So different widgets, um, user interface widgets. So if you, if you click to one of them, for example, label, um, it will show you, um, the different um, uh, function, um, how, you know, provides you an example of how to use that and whatnot. So, okay. So this is just to give you an idea. Uh, so the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, a label that says um, do something or just click on the map. So we're gonna um, generate a label uh, or a text label. And to do that, we'll create a a variable core title and then is equal to UI it's um, you've seen some of the widgets that, uh, that are ours and Jim built in so I'll call uh, this user interface label so label is uh, an already ours and Jim um, widget so I'll create a bracket and a curly bracket and then input my values here uh, so the value um, is um, click on a map, on the map. So this is the label that shows um, click on the map. And then um, I'll provide it a style for this uh, label. Um, so create a, a font size. Probably give it 20 um, font size, okay? And then I'll actually close that function that um, 
and then in JavaScript you have you have to close your um, your statement is a semicolon. Okay, so that's my first um, UI user interface uh, widget. It is um, um, which is um, um, a title or a label. Okay. And let's create another variable here. So the second one is our create a variable called loan, uh, which is actually um, a UI one label for the first. And then I'll also create, uh, mind you, I've told you that we're gonna create a lot long, um, latitude and longitude, um, um, generator location locator app so uh, just we're, we're creating um, variable for both uh, for the latitude and longitude second one is um, actually sorry var lat is equal to let me do another uh, widget a label here and so I have created two UIs okay and the next one is, um, let me just create a, a sidebar. So I'll create a sidebar uh, and let's just create a, a variable called sidebar. And then in this case, instead of a label, I need a panel, okay? And then I'll open curly bracket and then input my, you know, the different parameters for this panel. So uh, first, I'll define the different widgets in this um, panel or the sidebar. So I need um, title. I've already created the title, remember here? So that's my title, okay? Just the title is kind of providing information for the user to do something. So in this case, click on the map. So I'll bring that variable here, title. So that's one of my widgets. And the other panel, um, the other item in, 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 or the other widget in my panel is a lot, uh, which gives me the latitude information, all right? And the other one is the long. Okay, so I've created um, a sidebar panel, okay? And then actually, let me provide it a style. Style. And then let me provide um, width. Um, this is the width of the panel that I would see on the side. So probably 250 um, should be fine. And then close the double curly bracket. Um, and I'll actually close my function here. So now I've created um, a UI label for the title and um, um, two uh, UI labels again to input the lot long information and also a sidebar that kind of uh, contains um, all of this information together as a sidebar panel. And so the other thing is I need to uh, create a root uh, UI and then I'll add the sidebar I've created here. Okay. All right, and then I'll close with semicolon. And finally, um, I'll create a map on click. So that will just give um, the Earth Engine instruction. Map on click is something that, you know, do this whenever this action happens, whenever this event happens, you know, generate a lot longer or something like that. Okay. So that's the final critical um, bit of code for our um, um, lot long locator app. So on click. So what happens on click? So let's create a function. So function um, coordinates. So this will. Um, um, so this function um, has needs um, coordinate information. All right. And so, how's the coordinate generated? So coordinates, okay, we have already created a lot long, right? A variable, so that's variable. those are variables, okay. 
um, long and then set value so from the coordinate information it will pull the longitude information right so and then um, append it to our long uh, a long UI um, UI label okay here so let's just uh, so long is uh, text plus coordinates so coordinates long so this will pull the coordinate information from the uh, geometry uh, of that location and the same thing we'll do the same thing for the latitude right uh, set value and then lat that's the text um, okay so and then so you'll provide um, this this is the text okay and then it will pull the coordinates but then in this case a latitude all right lots okay and we'll create a variable until now we haven't created any geometry right so um, point origin geometry point okay so on a click all right on a click uh, when you click a uh, point what it does is it generates um, coordinate latitude and coordinate longitude all right so let's just input that chords long and then chords lot and then close the bracket and then let's create another part variable this is a dot it will just make it a little fancier okay more like a symbolization and then it will map it'll just um, um, create a, a map like a more styled map uh, for that uh, geometry that you have created when you click on a, uh, on a on a point it will generate the lot long information it will it'll pull the the, the longitude and longitude uh, latitude and it will um, it will attach that and it will, it will pull that uh, and then you will create some sort of um, styled um, um, point data you can create this into different color like red uh, blue yellow whatever you're interested in okay so we'll, we'll just call this point already created right when you click something you'll just generate a lot long information so I'll I'll, I'll uh, pass this point and then provide some visualization parameter in this case color I'll define the color as probably red okay and last thing is um, I'll just give it a name last click the last click this is your your lot long information um, on a map showing on your last click and finally map layers and then set it will pull that um, you know visualization and create create, create this as a map and then finally actually close your function so lastly before you close you just create a um, for your locator you'll just uh, provide some sort of style right um, so you create a the cursor style so cursor um, what kind of cursor do you want we'll choose a crosshair here that's just the cursor style we're defining the cursor style close your your um, your function your JavaScript statement here that's pretty much it and so you have to summarize you've created um, you know title for your widget and you've created a lot long um, you know label that way when you click a point you'll see 
the lot long level and also a sidebar here which combines the different widgets which includes the title here the lot long information and whatnot okay and then finally you just create a function that pulls together all of that you know creates a geometry and then generates that that you know widget here on the right side and finally uh, choose a map you know the the cursor um, information I will go ahead and execute that by clicking around here and I'll see all of my widgets here okay invalid style property font size okay something is wrong here what's going on oh font size I think it has to be capital here let's just go ahead and execute that okay an expected um, all right, function panel style. Okay, what is going on? Oh, there's a typo here. Okay, uh, style has to be style. Excellent. Let's see our widget. Okay, mind you, we have not, we still don't have anything yet. Um, see, so mind you, our click on the map here. So we have our title. But we don't see any location here. Why is that? The reason is we have not even um, generated any event, which is the click, click. We haven't clicked anything. Okay. Once we click, we'll, we'll see the lot long and um, latitude and longitude information uh, or location here on the right side of our widget. Let's close all of this. Um, and actually, let's just click um, anywhere for example let's click uh, anywhere in the you know central united states so let's see there's nothing here once i click here i have my latitude and longitude information here that's pretty cool so i can move in and mind you we also have created um uh, we have styled our point data uh, it will just generate um you know uh, a red color for our, our last location right so it's it's a red color for any location that we click we can see the lot long information change so that's our um Urzingen, pretty um basic Urzingen app to generate any um to, to generate a latitude and longitude information for any given location um for anywhere in the planet you can zoom out to another continent here africa you can see uh, your app uh, is working uh, pretty cool. Um, you know, the next step is actually, you, you know, to publish your map. Um, you can go ahead and, and um, click the apps button and that will uh, publish your app if you're interested. But, um, you know, this is how you can um, create um, an Urzingen app um, um, with you know cloud um, the Erzingen cloud API and um, the Erzingen app um, you know widgets and functionalities.